show. All right, we're here on the Gracie Baja show. I'm Eddie, your host, and Marcia Vitola. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being on the show. Thank we're you. going to show our audience some of the uh, moves that Gracie uh, Jiu Jitsu has to offer. Can okay. we do that? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, we're going to start off with one basic self defense move here. I'm going to uh, have Marcio help me out with this. He's going to go, and what we like to cover is a lot of practical situations that might happen. One is the uh, infamous haymaker punch. So he's going to go to punch me with his right hand. Now, anytime I'm coming up against somebody, the tension is getting hot, I want to make sure that I want to keep some distance between me and my attackers. So I'm here, he can talk to me from here. I have my hands close up to my chest, but I'm not indicating to him that I want to fight. Okay? From here, my hands are up to my chest, still talking. He's going to decide to throw the punch. All right? So from here, he punches. I step in, check the punch. From here, I wrap the arm. The other hand's going to come hug the hip. I come to the side. Okay, head in nice and tight, controlling his body here. My back leg is going to step in front. And from here, my hips are going to clear his. And now, straighten my legs, take him down to the ground. Okay, so Marcio, if you want to show our viewers a good uh, Gracie's Jiu Jitsu technique. Okay, let's work on uh, how to escape from the headlock. Let's say someone gets in close to you here, grabs your neck, and break your posture to that position. Let's also create the scenario that he wants to release his grips and throw punches here. Okay? So, he has already controlled your neck and broke your posture down. So first thing you want to have good balance here, feet parallel. He will come in with the punch. You want to block, throw the punch. When he throws the second one, throw one more. You control his arm, and then go for the skate. One hand on your chest. Two, step back, look up. Three, clear your head out. Then you control the situation here, pulling up the wrist and grabbing his neck. Okay, let's work now on one technique in case you have someone on the ground. So that bring it down. So we can incorporate this martial where now we just took the opponent down using the hip throw, let's say. Yes. Okay. So nice thing about jiu-jitsu is that you don't need to hurt the other person in order to control a situation or to win a fight. Okay, so let's say my partner, if we are training inside the school or the aggressor, if it was an attacker, I, I threw down, he's laying here. I don't need to throw punches or anything like that. You can just use what we call in the belly. Come with this leg here, all the way across his belly. With a good posture up, my hips forward. I make myself pretty heavy here. If he tries to push or escape, my balance is right here. He will push, I step back. If he bumps up his hip, I step forward. So even if I'm not that heavy, I can always be adjusting my position and keep him flat on his back, which is my goal, so he does not escape. Okay, so now with this hand, I can also push his neck, making his back flat even more, making it harder for him to escape. And from here we have several things we can do. You can just control the position, push his arms away, be heavy on top, or counter his attacks. Let's say this time he tries to reach for my neck, reach for my neck with both hands. And he reaches over here. One of the most popular submissions in Jiu Jitsu is the arm lock. All you need to do, hold the wrist. Don't even need to use the strength because he's the one pushing. So he's giving that to you. And one step over the neck. That's it. When you lay back, you have it right here. As you lay down, increase the tension on his elbow. And if he does not tap or stop whatever he's doing, it will really hurt his arm. So it's my hip underneath his elbow joint, these together, and I have this submission here. We call that the arm lock. Marcio, I'd like to thank you for being with us today on the Gracie Show. 
you want to train with Marcio and some of the great fighters uh, that Gracie Baja has produced, they can visit you at? I am in California, in uh, the city of Irvine. And if you're ever in Chicago, look us up, gbchicago.com. Thank you for tuning in to the Gracie Baja Show. We'll see you again next time. Test, 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 it, test, it, test, it, test, it, test. Yes, perfect. Speak like that? Yeah. Ba and man, should I be talking about? For the Gracie Baja. <laughs> <laughs> the top. It's the Gracie Baja show, man. Yeah, but yeah. We can say whatever we want. Yeah, okay. Hello and welcome to the Gracie Baja Show. Gracie. <laughs> 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 Maybe to get me prepared for the. Too crazy, man. Marcio Souza Feitosa? No, Marcio Feitosa Souza. <laughs> The thing is professional here, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> okay. I'm all sweaty. <laughs> you know. Let's, let's concentrate. Okay. <laughs> We can't have other man. He has me there, man. Okay. I will run for sure, man. Okay. We, know, let, hi, no, hi, we need to hide Adam on the backstage, man. <laughs> Every time I look the camera, I see Adam here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Adam, don't make me laugh, man. <laughs> I'm to amplify my voice like that too. <laughs>